Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another review and screencast for youtube.com slash LockerGnome and LockerGnome.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at an Adobe Air cross-platform Twitter client called Destroy Twitter. Now right off the bat, you'll probably think just like me that the, the name of the application is actually quite a bit counterintuitive, considering the fact that it's a Twitter client. But I'm sure once you see it in action, you'll forgive its name and actually take this seriously as a Twitter client. You can see here at the login screen, all you have to do is enter your username and password and hit the submit button, and you're already right into your home screen in the application. Once you're here, you're going to get to that familiar home column of all the tweets of people you're following in a similar, uh, familiar one column view. This will be familiar to you guys if you've used something like Twirl or any other Adobe Air uh, single client application where you actually have to press a button to get to your mentions, to get to your direct messages, etc. I think it's really worth noting that my favorite part of this application, despite all the other things that people may say about TweetDeck or Twirl or any other apps, is just the smoothness of this application and its ease to use. I've used a couple of other uh, Twitter applications and I'll tell you that without screencasting software going, this software is really snappy. You can snap between single columns or multiple columns and uh, just go ahead and view all the tweets that you want to view at the same time uh, without really any delay and you can do this all in a single column mode which makes it really nice. Notifications come up promptly and you can also obviously customize how long it takes for notifications to come up, uh, but if you do actually have a search column, it'll come up just like in TweetDeck or Twirl or other Twitter clients like I've mentioned, and you'll be able to have notifications for a specific search term if you're monitoring something. Now there's no need to fear if you're a big fan of the triple column or quadruple column layouts of the very popular Twitter client called TweetDeck. Uh, Destroy Twitter actually also has, in their newest version, incorporated a multi multiple column mode where you can actually drag it out to be as many columns wide as you'd like. So you guys who are using full screen tweet deck, you can actually switch to Destroy Twitter and still have the full screen tweeting features. I have known people who are so dedicated to Twitter that they have an entire monitor dedicated to their one single most used Twitter client. And I guarantee you switching from that Twitter client to Destroy Twitter probably won't lose as many Twitter features as you think, and it'll be really helpful considering that you can use the multiple column view. And as most of you guys know, when you review an application, there's got to be something about the settings of the app. And I got to tell you, in Destroy Twitter 2.0, there is no shortage of preferences that you can change with this app. You can change everything from the notification sounds to how often the, it refreshes to what theme you want to use so you can change the colors of the application. There are just a whole lot of things with the newest version. As long as you're updated, you'll have a bunch of customization options to really make this your own and probably have something on your desktop that nobody else has. Overall, if you guys follow me on Twitter at MKBHD, you probably already know that Destroy Twitter is my default Twitter client, so that might be a tiny source of a bias in anything I've talked about here in this screencast, but I'll let you guys know that there is so much you can change if you don't like the default version of this Twitter client that you can really make it your own, and just like any other Twitter client that has a lot of customization features. So I highly suggest you go check it out, and you can check out the blog of the author of this application at DestroyTwitter.com and also follow them on Twitter at DestroyTwitter, which makes perfect sense. So until next time, it's been MKBHD, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Signing out. Peace.